Welcome again, folks. This one is similar to what we presented earlier about having a strong plan with a line that can be broken if we cross above the previous resistance. In this particular case, it's the opposite. We are looking at a play where we will drop to support. Why? Because we were trading higher. And I'll show you exactly why. This is LMT Lockheed Martin. It reported yesterday. It had strong numbers. It had a very good morning. Then a pullback with the rest of the market. Uh, it was kind of hippy all day. And this morning it had even more upgrades from various analysts and you know PD raised this was setting up for something that is really nice now i'm not talking about just earnings not talking about analysts saying it's it's time to buy i'm talking also about the overall situation in the world i don't want to get into political situation here but the situation in ukraine is uh concerning in a defense stock like lockheed martin is something that you should be looking for there are other ones but this is pretty much my favorite when it comes time to uh, play defense stock. So looking at Lockheed uh, LMT here is, I'll show you exactly what happened. And this is the interest, uh, the interesting part. If you only look at the chart, look what happened. This was yesterday at this level uh, and a day, then it's kind of struggling. And then with the upgrades and everything, it's gapping up. It's opening on a gap up. Uh, I'll zoom in a little later, but I want to show you something. Now, if you only, oh, let's do that. Let's do that together. If you only look at the open in, let's say this is your chart, right? It opens up. It's <laughs> flat. Let's say this is the high of, uh, the pre-market high, right? It drops down to the open and it reaches to what pre-market high if you look at if you have watched previous videos you'll show the pre-market high is something that i tend to look for uh as resistance and this is pretty much what happened and you know for a long period 9 30 till about you know this time 10 15 it's 45 minutes of nothing happened really this is nothing happening so what are you expecting if it breaks out Yes, we are on the buyer's side. No, it's rejecting the line. Where will it drop down to, right? You have to be prepared for that. If you look at the chart, well, in my chart, there's nothing really telling me that it's about to turn around, apart from the fact that here you have a red candle and the next one is the inside bar on the green, and then it starts moving to the upside. This could trigger something. However, I like to see it, look at what happened before. Price levels. I've shown you this before and I hope you guys have learned a few things and I'll show you exactly what I was looking for. Look at the previous day, right? Where's resistance and where's support? Let's not put any line and let's, let's look at this together. This is post earnings. It rises to a certain point. It comes down to a certain point. Doesn't want to cross this line and then it ends the day uh, at midday at this point and then it's kind of struggling and it goes over to a certain line now it's coming down we could have thought that this would be a line but if we erase all this you'll see that this is only a wick right and if we zoom in you see these two wicks top of that Let's pretend that we're close to that. When we reach that line, these guys were willing to buy to a certain point, and these guys to a certain point here. Same thing here. In this vicinity here, do you agree that we have some sort of a resistance? So resistance from that direction, it would create support from that direction, okay? Let's abandon this, put a line together at the line that we're talking about here, pretty much to that. See, this is how I prepped the line. 
it's struggling to get through it tries it tries and eventually it does so in my opinion i was looking at this and let's look at pre-market same thing oh we have someone here uh late in the day that's where it came down to see there's a little tiny um candle here is flat can't really see it because volume is pretty light but you see all these lines there um, so this is the bottom one so basically 384811 is the line that I was looking for a bounce this is where I alerted and see this is where it ended up bouncing see how we got close we were talking about the different candle patterns before but I'm more into uh, support and resistance levels so it was at 384 ish it dipped a little under um, I think our fill was pretty uh, pretty good on this one I think it dipped a little under our fill uh, because we got in while it was dropping and then a few wicks at the bottom and then it started rising what's the target I said we are going back to the 490 uh, sorry uh, 390 zone which is that level uh, from the uh, morning right the morning was that level and that's what we got at this point and at that point we were just above it and flat trading for quite a while which was a little boring and then if you look at the rest of the day uh, it just took off to a higher point however we took more than half of our position um at above 100 percent which creates a perfectly trade uh, free trade and and then it, it continued for um you know almost 393 394 i believe my end target was 392 ish to be in the 392 ish i was happy with so i believe we took another portion of our play there but just to go back to the uh strategy here it was the opposite we opened higher than um the previous day where are we looking what are we looking for if we break the the pre-market high yes we enter the um the buyer side however this pullback where will it pull back to and we looked at previous resistance and it pretty much matches it to the to the penny so again folks i hope you're learning from this this was planning ahead in the opposite way but i'm sure you can put this in your toolbox thanks for watching